Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and last year Bon Bon said he wanted to review some vintage board games. And here's Bon Bon. I'm Don Don. Hi Bon Bon. So, what would you like this year? Board games! Board games. I like board games. I like those vintage hunts. Let's do a board game review. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's go get Bon Bon. Alright, so here's the puppet theater. We're just going to get Bon Bon. There you are, Bon Bon. Alright, you're going to get what you asked for. Let's review some board games. Oh, by the way, there's Plush Trap. Whatever you do, do not look into his eyes. He can sense fear. Alright, let's do this show. So, I will be reviewing these games with... Bon Bon! That's me! So, Bon Bon, which one do you want to review first? Um... The fishing game! Fishing game looks fun! Yeah, let's review that. I've had that for a very long time, but let's do that. So, we'll put these aside for now. We'll get back to them a little bit later. Alright, so me and Bon Bon will be reviewing this game. It's called the Great Walleye Tournament Board Game. So it's about fishing. It's actually supposed to... It's supposed to raise environmental and conservation awareness. Great family fun! So I'm just going to take a quick look at the back. So yeah, so... So it's... it's an, it's an exciting race from marina to lake, competitive fishing on the lake, and fun return trip to the marina. Like I said, I've had this for a long time. Instructions are no longer here, but I still remember how to play it because it's actually very easy. Okay, and here are the contents. So we got some cards. All right, and we got ourselves some dice. So this is your fishing die here. And this is the uh, racing dice here, and we have our pieces. One of them's broken, that's too bad. This black one right here, it broke. Oh well. Still have enough, and here are the, here are the tokens. And for some reason, we have airplane, and look at this. This is a boating game. This, this probably came from a different game here. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Well, we're gonna use the right one. We'll put the right here, the game board. So let's get this set up. Me and Bon Bon, we're gonna we're gonna play this. Okay, Bon Bon, what color do you want to be? I want to be yellow. You want to be yellow? All right, yellow it is. These are the racing die, and what you want to do is you want to get out into the fishing area. Catch all, catch a walleye from each spot here, and then race all the way back. And Bon Bon could be rolling with his mouth, I guess. Kids, don't be rolling dice with your mouth. It's a choking hazard. Okay, go ahead. I think he's choking already. Okay. All right, Bon Bon. How about I just roll for you? Okay. All right. That's a 10, that very good start. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so here's where Bon Bon is. He needs to choose which direction he wants to go. He can go direction A or direction B. Okay, Bon Bon, which way are you going? I'm taking a shortcut. Okay, roll the four. One, two, three, four. So you landed on the red square, so you gotta pick up one of those red cards. You do it. Okay. No worries. Oh, you got a good one here. It says here, you are 
Fortunate to have no wind and smooth water. Advanced 10 spaces. Wow, you got a good one there. And there you are. You are way ahead of me. You'll be fishing before I am. Oh boy, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, way behind here. Okay, my turn. I got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I landed on the red one. So that means I gotta pick something up. Here, I'm gonna get that out of the way. I got a bad one. You develop motor trouble. Go back to the marina. Ugh. I gotta go back to the marina and fix the motor. That means I gotta go way back at the beginning. Oh, you got a bad one. Yeah, I got a very bad card. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go ahead. I wanted to show you how the fishing part works. So this is where we all go. We're done with the red cards. But that's where me and Bon Bon are. We're on the deep water. In the case we're looking for walleye specifically. And if it's not a walleye, we gotta put them back. As a matter of fact, when I go fishing, when I fish, I always like putting the fish back in the water. All right, so now we're done with the red dice, so we're gonna be using the green dice, or you can just use one dice. Doesn't matter if you use colors or not. So how do we do this? So what you do is you roll the dice, and if you get an even number, you pick up a blue card. And if it's an odd number, you catch nothing and it's the other player's turn. Sounds simple. It is an easy game, actually. So there you go. You just got four. That's an even number. So you pick up a card. Walleye! This is what this is what a walleye looks like. So what does that mean? I catch it? No, you gotta answer a trivia question right now. So since we're in the deep water, we read the question on the deep water area. So this tells me how many points you have, and that's 17. Okay, so now it's my turn, and I got a two, which is an even number. And I just caught a perch. Did somebody say perch? No, I wasn't calling you. Oh, okay. Come on, evens. Six. That is an even number. And you caught yourself a muckleage? <laughs> it's actually muscalunge. Makalich? Muskalunge. Makalich? Okay, we're moving on. That was kind of fun. Okay, and this is the next one we're gonna review. It's called The Amazing Labyrinth. Now this is actually uh, a game where you can shift the game board. It's kind of cool. So it is actually a maze, but it changes every turn. So it's like a mystery dungeon. And here it is. This is the board. So I'm just going to get this set up. Hey, you got an extra one. Yep. And we're supposed to have an extra one. I'm going to show you how this works. This looks hard. Heck, actually it's not. I'm going to show you. So what color you want to be? This time you have red, blue, yellow, or green. Blue, blue. <laughs> right on. And I guess i will be red. There we go. And now we just need these cards. And they actually have, well, basically what these cards are, they have all the pictures that you see on the game board. So, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put this aside, flip a card over, and we compete to try to get this treasure first. So let me just zoom in on this a little bit more. And that's how this works. Now before you start, you see all these arrows here at the corner? You're supposed to take one, supposed to take your extra piece and push wherever you want. This will shift the maze and that way it changes. And so you need to shift your way to victory. So right now one of us needs to find these keys. So that's the goal. So I'm gonna go get the keys. Yes, that's what you gotta do. Just 
because we're going after this. So I'm going to go first just so I can show you what to do. So I'm over here and we have a maze so I can go, no I can't, so I'm actually blocked right now but that can change. So what I'm going to do is what do I do? That's a good question. I can do this. And there you take the extra piece. Now I can go this way. You see? Ah, that is kind of cool. It is cool. So why don't you give it a try? Can you do it? I don't really have any fingers. Fair enough. So where do you want to shift? Okay. There we go. Now you want to go after the keys, so where can you go? You can't get them yet, but you can go... You see, that this, that's how the game works. You're changing the main. So it's like a puzzle, really. It is a puzzle. However, I just found the solution. I'm going to move this piece down. See if I can show you. There. You did it! I did. So that means I get to keep this card and we go after the next treasure. Spider. Oh, Chica would love that. Really? There. Now I can go and get the spider and this is mine. You're good at this game. <laughs> Well, maybe you'll get the next one. That's the ring. I don't need to move it. That's right. And then, and now this card is yours. I finally got one. We are currently experiencing technical problems. I guess we're not going to finish our game now. Thank you, Plush Trap. I put him in the other room. Oh, I don't know how he got out, but I guess we're going to have to move on to the next game. Oh, boy. I think he did that on purpose. This is the next game we will be reviewing. Rock Jocks. It's called a cliffhanger of a game, and that is exactly what it is. A cliffhanger game. So, looks kind of scary, but actually a lot of fun. So, what, what year is it? This is by Milton Bradley, by the way. And Milton Bradley is very well known for their horror games. Ah, uh, let's see, what year, what year? 1994! So, this is what the back looks like. I don't like Flash Trap! He's mean! Ah, uh, he's not mean, he's just insane. He's crazy, fairy. I agree. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's unbox this thing. Hey, check this out. It's a skeleton. Spooky, scary skeleton. Okay, so how this works is that each of us gets three of these tokens. So, Bon Bon, you get three. And I get three, and the rest remain here. So this is my, and this, those are my tokens. So you can make me play the vulture, the snake, and that is actually, this is actually a counter card. And it says move Yeti 1. But the Yeti has to be in position before he can be put on a player. So we're safe from him for now. Alright, I'm going to play a vulture. Alright. So that means I have to put this, one of these, on my climber. So let's go do that. Alright, I'm going to put him on the backpack. There, see now he, he's hanging down a little bit lower. 
And the plank is that there's actually some planks here. If there's enough stress or weight on the climber, he will fall off. The plank will lift out. It'll pull, it'll, it'll pull the plank out and hit, he'll be forced to fall off. Okay, and now you know play that's when you get to pick a token from the pile. There. Alright. So now you have two you do it. So I have big horn sheep. When it says on me, that means I'm forced to put the creature on my climber. So I'm not gonna play that. Unless I'm forced to. And or I can trade tokens. Okay, so I'm gonna put the big horn sheep on Bon Bon's climber. So that means this is actually the heaviest one besides the Yeti. You wanna put that on my climber? Yes, I do. That's not nice. Well, that's the whole point of the game. You wanna make the climber fall. So, gotta put it. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Don't fall, don't fall. Looks like you're okay. He would have fallen off by now. I can put it on Bon Bon's climber and that would probably make him fall. But it's not in position. Alright, what are you gonna play? The snake. That snake. So that means I gotta take this snake here. And I gotta put it on my climber. Oh, I can put my I can hang it on the vulture's wing. Or I can put it on the and I'm gonna put it on the leg. Snake isn't very heavy. All right, and then you need a token here. I think I'm gonna trade. So that means I get your token and you get mine. So you now have the Yeti card, and here you need another token. Okay, I'm gonna make Bon Bon put the big horn sheep on. Okay, here we go. Climber's getting pretty stressed out. Stay on, stay on, don't fall, don't fall. He's good, you're okay. I'm gonna play the vulture. All right, so I would have to put the vulture on, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna play this card that says, no, you do it. And Bon Bon has to put the vulture on his climber. Sorry, Bon Bon. And we each get another token here. And it says move Yeti 1. I'll show you that in a second. If your climber may not last. Oh, he's just hanging on there. Oh, he's got good arms. He's strong. <laughs> well, aren't you lucky. Now we need to move the Yeti 1. So that means I gotta move him forward. Oops. Right there. He still has a couple moves to make before he's in the ready position. You don't really have, if you're not in good shape, you only have on me cards. I'll play that one. So Bon Bon, it says on me, so I mean he needs to put a snake on his climber. Well, here we go. Will your climber last? I don't know. Getting pretty, oh, he's still hanging in there. He's got good arms. Yeah, he already said that. Oh, he see that he ever. Well, I am going to play giveaway. That means I can take one of the creatures off of my climber and put it on Bon Bon. Oops. I guess he couldn't hang on that much longer. Unfortunately, Bon Bon Climber has plummeted to his doom. Sorry, Bon Bon, but uh, I lost. Yeah, you, well, look at your climber. Is he still there? Mine is. I didn't even have to give you my creator. He just was under a lot of stress. I mean, that's how it works. It's just a little plank and it just goes into a little slot. Okay, so now we are completely reset. Okay, I'm gonna beat you this time. I'm gonna give you the goat. Actually, wait, I'm gonna give you the snake. I have a bad feeling about that. Oh, you are absolutely right. <laughs> I was gonna play one of these on you. Imagine if the goat went on you instead. I'm getting smarter. I know how you play. 
You're predictable. Oh, am I am I predictable? Since I played the counter card, it said, no, you do it. And move the Yeti one. Look where he is now. This is the ready position. He is ready. Be ready. This is where it gets scary. All right, so each of us gets a token. Well, Bon Bon, I am going to play this on you now. Lose grip. What? What? Yep. <laughs> like you said, I'm not very nice when it comes to board games. I mean, just hanging on by one hand. Oh. I feel bad for you, Bon Bon. Yeah, well, how do you like this? I'm gonna play this card. Oh, oh. This is the Yeti when he's ready. So that means I gotta put this big white Yeti on my climber. This is gonna get ugly. Oh boy. He's still holding on. Barely. I can see the plank under a lot of stress. Well, I hate to do this to you. No, nope, you do it. Oh boy. <laughs> you are really getting even with me now. So put the goat in my climber. Oh. How is that possible? <laughs> Good arms, like you said. All right, so I guess someone there. I didn't hear anyone. Yeah. What? Oh, come on! Yeah. We are currently experiencing technical problems. And of course, once again, the game is ruined. Is he gone? Yes, I put him in the other room, and this time I put a chair over the door. Uh, how does he keep getting out? Hey, he's still holding on! He survived the plush trap! Yeah, he did. Ha! <laughs> After all that, he's still hanging on. Yeah, he ate my climber. Not even the Yeti could have survived plush trap. Oh, it's so hard to work with that guy. Why did you make him? Good question. Hey, I have a question for all you viewers out there. Please comment down below and tell me why I thought making plush trap was a great idea. Really, I want to know. <laughs> All right, well you win this game. Can't believe he survived plush trap. Wow. This is what we're reviewing next. A very old game called. Where is it? Pogs. Pogs. Now, this actually dated back, I believe, in the night in the late twenties, nineteen twenties. And these are actually caps from a juice, a brand of juice called Pog. And people have been collecting the caps that came from them, and they made a game out of it. And I believe this originated, from my understanding, in Hawaii, Maui. And I've been there before. Beautiful place out there. Wow, they're so colorful. Yeah, there's a lot of artwork on these things. Well, I actually been playing these. I had a huge collection of pods when I was growing up in the 90s. I and mean, actually some of the newer pods, they were, they were really nice, but I'm showing you the old, old pods. Because we're going way back into time here. So this is what me and Bon Bon will be playing next. So I'm just gonna show you some of these podcasts. But yeah, you can just see how really colorful they are. Question authority, but listen to your parents. <laughs> that is true. Please listen to your parents. Uh, oh yeah. Pog tastes good and is good for you. Like I said, Pog is actually a brand of fruit juice. So yeah, it's, uh, let's see, if I can remember correctly, P 
passion fruit, orange juice, and guava juice, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dive Bomber. World, World Pod Federation Classic. This little red guy here, he, he just makes me feel so nostalgic just looking at him. Good times, good times. This is what I really like about the olden days. We did not have fancy computers, smartphones. No, nope, we just had our imaginations and this is what happened. All right, so basically what you do is you stack them up. I'm gonna put this one on top just so you can see what we're playing. Now, the game, you gotta have a slammer. And these are slammers here, they all have yeah, so these are some slammers here. Some creepy ones and some really cool ones. Yeah, this one's kind of cute. So these are what these are what slammers look like. Oh yeah, and there's one that just says pog on it. That one's a little bit faded, but that's alright. So anyway, though that's what the slammers look like. This is the one that I I've had this slammer for a very long time, so I'm going to be using this again. Which one do you want, Bon Bon? Well, come on, pick one. I want that one. You probably think I'm a little weird if I say this is cute, but it kind of is. If you take your slammer, you stack up your pods like that. I'm gonna take mine, and you throw your slammer down right on top. That's it. Now you'll notice that some of them turned over. Those are the ones you keep. Any ones that got flipped over, you keep them. And the one that has the most podcasts win. It's just that simple. Well, that's all you gotta do, Bon Bon. Okay, Bon Bon, you're gonna take your slammer and you're using your mouth, okay. Just don't choke on it like you did with the dice. Oh, you got one. Might want to implement a better strategy, but okay. Good for you, Bon Bon. Okay, my, that's all there is to it. Oh, and I only got one. Okay, Bon Bon, it's your turn. I can't throw very hard. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, we're just playing just for fun. Yeah, that's all you do. Oh, that's a fail. There you go. That's my stack, there's Bon Bon. So I won. You beat me again? Well, you know, I have been playing this for a while. I mean, it's been a while since I have, but kind of have experience, and I, apparently I still got it. One more, all right, one more. And none of them flipped over. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the hammer! Yeah. Give me yeah. the hammer! Yeah. We are currently experiencing technical problems. Okay, I am so done with this video. And he is trashing my office right now. Why is he doing that? He doesn't have to have a reason. He's insane. <laughs> he got down there! Right oh, great. My climber. He lives. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I did. Well, I'm glad. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!